Welcome to a tutorial video on Twine. In this video, I'm going to cover the story menu passage as part of Sugarcube 2.36. So among a number of videos now, I've been covering special tags and special passage names that have meaning to Sugarcube. These change the presentation in a number of different ways based on if they exist and if they're being used. For passages, if they exist, tags, if they're being used. For this video, we're looking at story menu. So normally when we use Sugarcube, we have a sidebar on the left-hand side that gives us access to things like saves and also the undo and redo part of the history management. Among those things on the left-hand side is also the possibility to add something called the story menu. If the story menu passage exists, capital S, capital M, as shown right here, it will overwrite that section of the sidebar and allow a user or player to more directly access things as if it was a menu for part of the story. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm gonna go ahead and build and play and let's look at this. So notice over here, we have the normal options, save, restart, undo and redo once we've navigated a little bit in the story as well as the current displayed title of the story. Then we have menu and inventory. These look a little bit different because they're in the same style as saves and restart down here. But in fact, they are part of links that are within this passage called story menu that is replacing this section of the sidebar. So for whatever links or macros that generate links that appear within this story menu passage, those will be links that a reader or player can use within the story. So as with this example, we wanted to allow a reader to access something like a menu, inventory, or other things. Instead of providing links as part of passages, we could simply add them to the story menu and allow a player or reader to directly jump to those passages. So as we have here, if we were navigating through a story and we wanted to give them an inventory that would make sense across this, they could simply jump directly to the inventory, see what they have, and then potentially navigate somewhere else. Now keep in mind, as separate passages, menu and inventory right here, will appear as their own passages, which means once we land here, we would either have to undo and come back, or redo or potentially keep track of where we are in the story and then go to that place. So very useful if we want to provide the player or reader the ability to directly do something, inventory, menu, lots of different other options exist. And we can add them right here as part of the story menu. But of course, keep in mind that we are moving towards a particular passage. So menu and inventory in this. Also keep in mind when using story menu, capital S, capital M within Sugarcube, that of course we need links. That's what these things are over here. Or use macros that produce links, so like the link macro. And anything else that will be in here won't be treated the same. So we're only using links as part of story menu, special passage name, and Sugarcube 2.36. Thanks for watching.